everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. This is the car we're gonna be doing today, a 2015 Sonic LT four-door. We're gonna be doing a new radio in this today. So this is the 15 Chevy Sonic radio before. It also does have steering wheel controls on that. We're gonna to try to retain all that. So we wanna kinda of show you what it looks like before and then we can see what it looks like after. First step you're gonna do is you're gonna take a plastic pry tool under here and pry up. And it's very difficult. Um, to pry this up so you want to kind of pry underneath here and then pull up and you'll get this whole piece to come off right here and there's all the clips on the back side of it for you after you get that removed you're going to want to take out these four seven millimeter bolts so that you can remove this piece right here so we've got those four out we're going to want to pull this radio out and then you're going to want to unplug everything from the back side of it right here on this clip and here's what you're left with, your large connector, XM con connector, radio and connector, and then basically this is your antenna, and then this black connector is your USB. So those are the four connectors you're left with when you pull it out. These are the three parts we're going to be using today, which is a 40 EU55, this is a Sony XAV3200, and a 993012G-LC. That's the metric kit and harness that we're going to be using. This is the Sony radio that we're going to be using and the antenna adapter for Metro that we're going to be using. All three of these parts and a, a different variety of radios of parts that we're going to be putting down in the description underneath on the bottom, down underneath the video, we will have Amazon links where you can click this, buy it immediately and do the exact same thing that we're doing in this video today. So we went ahead and plug that into the box. This is your harness. This is our Sony harness coming off. Everything on here wires up color to color. It's very simple, you know, white to white, black to black, red to red, yellow to yellow, purple with black strap, purple with black strap. Everything is self-explanatory, just color to color. Very simple, very easy, not difficult at all. Blue with white stripe to blue with white stripe. The only ones we didn't use was the VSS, you know, speed sense, all that stuff. You don't use that stuff, but this is how you wire it up. Very simple, very basic, nothing extraordinary on this. So we're gonna plug it in, make sure everything works. We went ahead and plugged everything in. Dingers are working. Radio is coming on, so that's a positive. We'll make sure everything's all working correctly. You will need to transfer these over. I already took this one out. You basically just unclip them by these little clips right here and then transfer them over to the new kit right here. You will also need to pull these off, all four of them, and you will need to transfer those over to the new kit as well. So we did get, we took her mini USB right here. It's not a micro, it's a mini. So we took this mini adapter that we bought, which has got USB on one side, which plugs into your USB part, boom, and then plugs into this mini part right here. So basically you need a female mini USB to a male USB. That's the adapter you need. I'll put uh, a link down into the description below. Description below. I'm gonna test the tape this to hold it together, but it does work and keeps it factory, it retains the USB. So I did test it and everything works. So that's pretty awesome that it retains that. One other part we're gonna be doing on this because she does have steering wheel controls is an ASWC1. I will put a link down in the description below. You can click on that from Amazon and buy that directly. This is for the steering wheel control harness. So this is our harness right here. We went ahead and taped up all the wires in here in case you need to ever use it again, I leave them there. We're gonna use the red wire, the black wire, and the pink wire. And basically red is gonna to go to ignition, black is gonna to go to ground, and this pink wire is going to go to the pin location we're going to show you. What you plug the module into here, and then this part will go into the steering wheel part of the back of your radio. So basically what we did was we tapped our 
ignition, ground. And the cool thing is they've already got it tapped on this harness. That's gonna be the wire you need to connect to your pink wire. Those are the only three wires you need for steering wheel controls. So we basically got this to program. Um, all we do is connect our pink wire, our red wire, and our black wire, and push the volume up when we plugged it in. And everything right now, if you look, basically push this up, it all works. Just like normal. We got everything to work on here. It's awesome. All right, so here it is installed. Looks really good. I'm I'm really happy with the turnout of the way this looks. This kit looks amazing. It looks OEM. I like this bevel that they have on here. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And we did get to be able to retain the factory USB over here. So it's kind of a win-win. Thank <laughs> you.